So when people are behind the goal giving you stick, um, I just love it. Andy first, goal Gidrad. Arbetiad Kampis can first. Agam Arbetiad can Andy first. Four Rangers e Gay Connor. Four months ago I was a footballer without a job, I was unemployed. Um, and Connor's key was the club. They fitted the bill for me perfectly. They gave me the opportunity to go and play games. Having not played for three and a half years at Rangers, people can soon forget about you. Rangers made the decision in the summer that they no longer needed me and um, tough to take, but unbelievable three and a half years, stuff of dreams. And I'm a massive Liverpool fan and growing up, if you're a Liverpool fan and you're around my age, there's only one person who's a your favourite player is and that was Stephen for me and it just became even, even more crazy when your idol rings you and offers you a job at a club like Rangers. It was, um, yeah, it was really special and obviously I only got the chance to play one game. Um, but it was one more than I expected to play and um, I just fell in love with the club as soon as I went there. Like you can't not fall in love and I think the memories have made that even more special, the 55 and the European run and obviously winning the Scottish Cup last year as well. So to win the league, we broke defensive records, clean sheet records. But yeah, it was a really special journey to be part of. Once it came to leaving in the summer, I just felt like I was at a stage and age that I wanted to go and play games again and through different contacts I managed to get put in touch here and I trained once and then that was it, I was off the contract straight away and I just felt like coming here, the chance to go and play games was, um, was something I didn't want to turn down and where I am right now I'm, I'm loving it, back playing in front of fans and it's even better when there's like not as many fans because I love people just abusing you and giving you stick. Um, I just love it and the best one so far was Carnarvon definitely. 1-0 up and obviously came under a bit of pressure at the end, managed to nick the goal on the break to make it two and then did the silly dive afterwards just to rub, uh, rub a little bit of salt into the wounds and got a little bit noisier and a little bit grumpy behind the goal but that stuff like that just gives me the buzz and I know next time I go to Carnarvon I'm going to make sure that I need to be on my game because if not it's going to be a, could be a long afternoon. For me to have a defence that I know what they're going to do and they know what I'm going to do already. I have that connection and relationship to being really good and I think that's probably why we're doing so well so far defensively. For me, I'd probably say if, if we were top two, three, decent, but I'm obviously not going to write anything off this early into the season. We're playing well, um, keeping clean sheet, which is a big thing. And CNS are a, they're a full-time team with a big budget and can we catch them? Yeah, mathematically, yes, we can catch them. Is it a big ask? Yeah, but Connors Key won the league before, so We've got Wilding Strat scoring and assisting every game, so if them two keep doing that, you never know where it'll take us.